All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and show you another blitz that is honestly criminally underrated in really how easy it is to set up and also how effective it can be. And the formation is going to be out of the quarters 137. And you'll find this in playbooks like New England, um, Kansas City is another good one. Um, basically, no matter what meta you're wanting to run, whether you're wanting to run the dollar meta, or if you're wanting to run 4-3 even, or if you want to run nickel 3-3, you can do that out of the 3-4 playbook. Um, pretty much you can run this out of any style of playbook that you want. No matter what you want your main formation to be, this is a good blitz that you can use. And honestly, it's surprising that not many other people have, you know, labbed this or put this out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right. So right off the bat, we're going to be coming out in the formation quarters one, three, seven, as I mentioned, and the play is going to be cover two spy. Now you will notice that this formation and this play in general is different than every single other formation or every single other play in this formation. And let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So when we call this play flipped, we're going to go ahead and just show this against, I don't know, Flood, for instance. So you see right away, this looks very similar to, to a nickel or a quarter normal, right? So you've got three down linemen as opposed to these guys being linebackers um, and standing in a linebacker stance, right? Uh, the other thing to note, you've got contains by default. And also this slot corner is on a contain and he does not go off this contain even if you move him around. You see like how how that works? Now like you can back him up far enough to where he'll go on a contain, but he'll also still be a contain, if that makes sense. Like this is just something that's kind of you know crazy and unique to do. Um, that's not the blitz. But I just wanted to show you what's unique about that. So let's go ahead and dive into the blitz, right? That's why everybody clicked on this thumbnail and why everybody's looking for this. So right off the bat, what you want to do here is you just want to go ahead and pinch your defensive line, blitz your linebacker, and then you want to play on this defensive end on the right. Now, the other thing to note with this formation is you have the ability to have three safeties. There's three safeties on the field right here. You can see you can put both outside safeties, if you wanted to, into outside thirds. You could rotate them off, create like a cover three cloud. You can do a lot with this. Um, but I just want to go ahead and show you that because the adjustments can be really good out of this. Now, um, just as I mentioned, the blitz, right? This is what everybody's here for. This is a five-man blitz in theory, but we are on a defensive lineman. We are going to go ahead and drop it back into coverage, not engaging with the offensive line. So what you'll see right happen here is you're going to get the looping A-gap pressure. Cool. A lot of defenses have that, right? And that's not anything spectacular or really new. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Now, this time, I'm going to slide protect to the right. Once again, slide protect to the right. A gap comes in. We're going to go ahead, do the same thing. Pinch our defensive line, blitz our linebackers. Very easy setup. This time, we're slide protecting to the left. You see, now we get edge heat, right? Because that guy that's on a contain doesn't actually get blocked by the um, offensive tackle. So, going to do the same exact thing here. This time, I'm going to double-team the defensive tackle. Once again, this is something that is a pretty popular setup if people are trying to send five out. And when they do that, now you get edge heat and B-gap heat. So we've already talked about countering the meta, essentially the slide right. We've also shown that it doesn't work if you slide left. Double-team the tackle doesn't work. And same thing, we're going to go ahead, block the running back again. This time, you see running back goes ahead, picks him up a bit late but ultimately does, you know, slide over and pick him up. You can go ahead, do the same thing, block the running back. Just give you guys a couple examples of how this works. You can see that time he doesn't. So blocking the running back on the left or the right, for that matter, is not going to be consistent in terms of picking up the splits, right? So here we are. Now we have going to block the running back on the right. As you can see, doesn't work. So... We've already covered, can't just block the running back on the left, can't block the running back on the right, you can't slide right, you can't slide left, you can't double team the defensive tackle. Um, so really, you have to start you know, working on your block and slide combinations. So if we were to go ahead and set this up, now right there, 
see how that corner moved in? You do not want that to happen. If he moves in, simply just click on, drag him back out, because that will screw up your blitz. So now if we go ahead, block the running back on the left-hand side, and slide protect to the right. This is what a lot of people will do. You can see that will pick it up. But also think about it this way. They are having to do all of that, blocking, sliding right, in order to pick this blitz up, and we're sending four people. So if you were to go ahead and we'll go ahead and just do it again, block, we'll slide right, boom, picks it up, right? So that is the way to pick this blitz up. Um, but once again, that's something you have to do every single play, otherwise you're getting streamed at. So can you counter that? And the answer is yes. All right, so now we're blocked the running back. We slide to the right right here. We've blitzed that extra slot corner, and now you see we're, we're getting some pressure. The other thing that you can do out of this is to just bluff blitz this, right? So if they're starting to pick this blitz up, you know, you can sit in a defense where you're rushing three people and, you know, all right, well, they don't blitz anybody. You know, they don't block the running back. They don't slide. Cool, you're screaming right up the middle. Now, if they were to go ahead and you know, block the running back, all right? So if they were to go ahead, do the whole block slide right combination, all right, they can pick that up, but <laughs> you're sending three people. I mean, if you can't stop an offense while only sending three people, it's going to get rough for your opponent, um, right? So, I mean, just kind of the way I look at it is this is an elite, elite blitz in the sense that you're going to be able to force your opponent's hand. To, and then once you force their hand, then you can play that chess match in terms of, you know, prove to me that you can send the running back, keep him in blocking, and still have the ability to beat, what, eight in coverage? I mean, once again, if I, I feel like if I can't stop you from passing the ball with eight people in coverage against only four receivers, I mean, what am I doing? All right, so you may be thinking you know, blocking to the, blocking the running back and slide protecting to the left. Does that actually pick this up? And the answer, no. I mean, as simple as that, it does not, right? So if you go ahead, block the running back, slide protect to the left, you'll see what'll happen. You're still gonna get that edge heat right off the left edge. The contain just glitches through. So with all that being said, guys, if you want to see how to go ahead and use this blitz and this formation as a true scheme and how to beat the block running back slide protect to the right, which if you're going to run this full time, you're going to need to know that. If you want to see that broken down, go ahead, do me a favor, like the video. And if we get, I'll say 30 likes, should be pretty easy. If we can get 30 likes on the video, I'll go ahead and I will drop that specific tip in the next video, which will be on Friday. If you guys don't like this formation or don't like that, you know, we don't hit that light goal, then I will probably just move on, you know, maybe break down an offensive play, something like that for Friday. But um, yeah, thank you guys for once again tuning in. Till then, catch you guys in the next video.